कराग्रे वसते लक्ष्मी कर मध्ये सरस्वती कर मूले स्थिता गौरी प्रभाते कर दर्शन माय प्रॉस्पेरिटी इज एट माय फिंगर टिप्स बट एट द बेस ऑफ दैट प्रॉस्पेरिटी इज माय विजडम माय नॉलेज of myself and the life i live but somewhere deep within me i know that even deeper than this knowledge is my realization that i am a full potential my effort my dedication is to manifest this full potential in my life third mantra o sahana bhavatu sahana bhunatu sahaviryam karavavahai tejasvi navadhi tamastu ma vit vishavahai o shanti shanti Shanti. Myself and the teacher, the teacher and the group, we are all together in the endeavor to find our true self. May we work together as a team. May we not fight. May we learn from each other. let the group energy hold itself in a perfect active motivation till we find our deep honest expanded truth that is within let there be peace within me let there be peace outside of me let there be peace from all the unknown sources of the universe gently open your eyes i will be invoking these principles like this because i speak spontaneously things will be different i would suggest somewhere if you want to use this in your regular teaching you make your own little little comment on how your students will accept that's why you see my my interpretation was very secular i was not saying guru is a shiva guru is vishnu i was saying in a very general sense in this way the mantras can be interpreted good so today's session is going to be general because first two days we are just basing building a firm foundation hmm? firm foundation towards self transformation and firm foundation of inspiring others so transformation and inspiration transforming yourself and inspiring and transforming myself and or plus inspiring others now it's like you are a little seed a little seed and the seed makes effort to grow right the effort to grow is in the seed what is outside some nourishment yeah. health nourishment or circumstances hmm? circumstances it may not always be nourishment circumstances 
Seed wants to grow, but sometimes the circumstances don't let it grow. Seed is ready with its potential, but it has fallen on the wrong ground. Parable of kingdom. From the Bible, Jesus talks about four, the seed will fall on four different types of grounds and depending on that, it may grow or may not. So you are seeds waiting to flower into a big plant or a tree. But there is one difference between you and the seed. What is it? We have willpower. Yes. You have willpower in the sense that today a seed wants to say, oh look where I fell down. I fell on this dirt track. I don't want this. I want to fall on a fertile soil. Seed can't do much. The seed is dependent on that second shanti, right? the other. Maybe some man is walking on the streets and he kicks the ground and the seed falls on a fertile soil. It's the karma of the seed. It's the, it's the, destiny of the seed. Otherwise seed just has to wait or die. But not us. We somewhere have the will power to change, the choice to exercise. This is our blessing. There was a mystic Shankaracharya and he said there are three blessings every person. First blessing is Manushyatva. Forget the Sanskrit word. Manushyatva means being born as a human. Big blessing. Why? Because if you are a seed, you will not be able to move. Imagine the seed wants to transform but it's completely Not under control of its circumstances, but we are not like that. If you are blaming yourself that, oh, I was born like this, I cannot change my circumstances, then, then you need to understand a little more about what you can do in that. That's the difference. So, transform inwards and then once the seed finds the fertile soil, that's it. That, it doesn't need much. The, all the processes start automatically. The re roots start digging, that little tendril starts coming out, leaf starts coming out. Automatically the branches start directing themselves towards the sun. It's automation. The moment the seed finds perfect nurturing circumstances, the rest flows. This is nature. It's nature. And it's nature for everybody. Even us. Even us. We lost it. We lost it, but we can choose it. We lost it. It's nature. When we say nature, it's nature's law. You just have to fall in the proper circumstances. As humans, we have to consciously get into it. As seeds, we fall. You see, everything has its own importance. Even a stone. Like today we were discussing about that. The hardest rock at the corner of the house. Many times I wonder, have you heard of this uh, story of David and the Goliath? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The main hero of the story is what? Stone. Yeah. Yeah. Not David. Imagine if David did not have stone, what would he do? <laughs> main hero of David and Goliath is not David. He's a stone. Imagine. Imagine, sometimes I animate it in my mind and I say, 
the david is bending down to pick up the stone then one stone can change the course of history all stones was like pick me up pick me up pick me up pick me up me 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 cuz that one stone he goes to yeah, that one stone is going to change the course of history all stone move move like ah i take him by the that stone it is stone the stone can say oh i have this the stone so basis of transformation is no crying anymore no crying about yourself anymore about circumstances anymore no crying about yourself no blaming about the circumstances that's why we have included the module of life of saints because then you will see i have two new movies also one is sant gnaneshwar saint gnaneshwar it's a very touching movie we will see it very very is one of my inspirations 19 year old boy what he can do and what circumstances they were born in ostracized by the society father mother commits suicide generally in oh. yoga world what it is what is seen is teaching becomes more priority than inspiring and when teaching becomes a priority somewhere your need comes in you see that somewhere your need to be accepted to be respected to be acknowledged comes in come on 20 people you say lift your arms and they are lifting your arms <laughs> but at home nobody even asks you about it <laughs> nobody cares 23 hours of the day nobody even looks at you and one hour you come and these 20 people now lie down and they are lying down <laughs> power power the sense of power and the sense of so if you just teach normally somewhere your ego will still be there it will try to find its space and ego is very smart it's smarter than us it can it's like water it can find itself somewhere anywhere and then what happens when you start teaching like this it's a cycle you realize that hopefully a time comes that you realize hey i am teaching for whom i am teaching for hmm? me for me because that's that's a less sense of power sense of admiration and after 20 after the one hour class three people out of the 20 come oh, you are such a good teacher ah <laughs> yeah i mean i, I can imagine Now one hour is like a, a solace for you. It's a rescue of self-esteem and your little pride or whatever. And then you go back and again go back home and back to the same. We let's try not to get into that game. That's why I said first, at least for first fifteen days in our course, look at inspiring. when you transform yourself what happens is inspiration automatically happens secondly when you transform yourself you have real data to talk about you have real data you don't have data from knowledge you have real data do this it will help you how do you know because i have experience 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 your knowledge doesn't mean you don't teach what you have not experienced i mean if you are lecturing about yoga sutra and you have to talk about samadhi talk about it but people will know people will know ha you talking about samadhi ha just from here not from here people are not fools they know right so if if that happens because You know, you become a teacher, and then one class a week, and then five classes a week, and then ten classes a week, and then you get so involved in teaching, 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 and then a time comes that you say, "Wow, what about me? 
What do I mean? Have you ever seen a tree die because it gives shade to others? No. <laughs> what kind of tree is that? It's not a tree. Oh, the tree says, oh, people are taking my fruits, so I'm going to die. No. It's a fruit. It's supposed to be taken. Once I was going somewhere with one friend of mine who is also a yoga teacher. And the little children there in that village, they were throwing stones and breaking fruits from the tree. And I was laughing and I said, oh, I wish I could also do that. So she said, no, but they are harming the tree. They are throwing stones, melting stones on the tree. Why should they take the fruit? I mean, at least at that time I said, what if the fruit stays there till finish? It's a game for boys. The tree is more than happy. Have you ever seen the woodcutter goes to the tree with an axe? Tree doesn't run away. You say, oh my god, it's gone. Run. <laughs> oh, uh, otherwise the whole Amazon forest would be in Pacific by now. <laughs> no, it is giving nature. Yeah, on one end you can say it has no consciousness, but I like to say it's the giving nature of the tree. The small children break the fruits and eat, the adults break the whole tree and destroy the tree. Tree still is giving its life. That's the unconditional nature of the tree. You want to sleep under me and have rest? Take it. If you want to break my branches for your fuel in the home? Take it. If you want to take my fruits? Take it. If you want to take my leaves? Take it. If you want to take me and build your beautiful house? Take me. That's Complete unconditional. That's why let's change our perspective. Instead of learning how to teach, 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 let's keep teaching a little away for now. Let's see how am I going to transform myself. And then teaching happens. Then you're not even a teacher. Then when somebody calls you a teacher, you say, okay. It's just okay, just another. Just in your sitting, just in your talking, you will inspire. Just, just sitting quietly also you will inspire. Two years ago in Vienna, the place where I work in Vienna in the institute, there was a lady and there was one gathering there and she came and she said, Prasad, you have inspired me, thank you. And I said, I looked at her and I said, I don't even know you. She says, yes, you don't know me, you have not met me. <laughs> said, and how did I inspire? She says, once, three years ago, I wrote you a mail inquiring about something, I don't even know. And that time I used to sign off my mails by saying, love always. And she got that mail. She had some issue with the lower back and I wrote it. And she said, that love always, to be you had signed out, that rescued two years of my life. She was going through some relationship issues that time and suddenly she said, I read your mail but these two words, they hit me. They hit me so much that I carried them with me and they balanced me. I said, no. So she said, thank you. And she went. I said, hmm? Automatic. I mean, this was not a conscious action. But if somebody has to get inspired, they will get inspired anyway. So, let us look at four qualities of each now. Transformation, inspiration. So, how will you transform yourself? Number one. Dedication. This is we are talking about how to transform myself. Transforming myself through... Number one, dedication. <coughs> How will you define dedication? Sincerity. 
sincerity. Just, just brainstorm. Let's see what words come. Yeah. 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 Ye
and the, the, this this teacher or this guide can be any like like the pilot. You better trust the pilot when you sit in the plane in the flight. 